Hello everybody, Dick Coughlin here. How are you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, this video, um, the, what I'm going to be talking about in this video, was originally going to be me reprising uh, Brother Neuro, uh, my, uh, my alter ego. I'll kill you all. And I recorded the video footage for it. I'm going to be honest with you, I just, I've looked it back and I'm just not happy with it. I'm just not happy with the way it came out. And rather than just release it, I thought I would just do this as 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 is so this is just going to be me speaking a little bit off the hip but about these certain things that i was going to be talking about in that video and they involve uh, multiple characters um mainly milo yarnopoulos and um sargon of a card and nigel farage uh, let's start with nigel farage because um there was a big hoo-ha uh, recently, uh, when, when uh, last week, when Nigel Farage announced that he was leaving UKIP, that he could no longer associate with UKIP because they've become obsessed with uh, anti their anti-Islam agenda. Because, of course, when Nigel Farage was in charge of UKIP, uh, you know, they hated everybody. They didn't just, they weren't just anti-Islam, they were anti-immigration, they were anti, you know, anti all types of brown people. Uh, they didn't like gay people, they didn't like fucking women, they didn't like the transgender, they didn't like the fact, they didn't like anybody. And they hated the poor, the fucking disabled, everyone. Fuck it. So, you know, at least when Nigel, now they're obsessed with just Muslims, and that's apparently not good enough for Nigel. And it's not it's not often that I will sit up here and defend Tommy Robinson, but the idea that uh, UKIP were unsure as to whether they should let Tommy Robinson be a member of UKIP, having let in Paul Joseph Watson, Milo Yiannopoulos, Sargon of Akkad and Count Dankula the week before, now they're suddenly, oh, we're not too sure, we're going to be a bit fussy about Tommy Robinson. You know, if I was Tommy Robinson personally, I'd have told him to go fuck themselves. But Tommy Robinson got a job at UKIP, and it's amazing. And he's got possibly the most disturbing fucking job title you've ever fucking seen, like you've ever heard. His job at UKIP is he is an advisor on rape gangs. Imagine phoning your mum to fucking tell her you've got that place of job. Oh, yeah, I've got the job, yes, I'm chief advisor to the fucking head of UKIP on rape gangs. Not that it's going to be a difficult job on UKIP because it's just going to be... Oh, is that a rape gang over there, Tommy? Are they brown? Yes, there they go. Yeah, there they are then, yeah. So there's that. Now, so so Nigel's fucking suddenly... So Nigel Farage suddenly getting all fucking pious about it. The reason Nigel Farage quit UKIP was simple. He knows, Nigel knows, like anyone else, and Nigel Farage isn't fucking stupid, he knows that since the referendum and the, since the Brexit vote passed, UKIP is, you know, is dying out, it's on its last, there's no need for it now, everyone's fucking bailed on it, you know. And so he is trying to get some more attention. He's trying to sort of make it, he's trying to re rebuild his own reputation. He's got to fucking stay in the public sphere somehow. So that's why he ends up, he ends up on, he ends up doing fucking, uh, he ends up on UKIP, he ends up sort of denouncing UKIP all of a sudden, which, you know, a party that, you know, that party, Nigel, is of your creation, right? Right, since you left a cup, since you quit as leader a few years ago, it's had about 75 different people in charge. You are the fucking, you created that Frankenstein's fucking monster of that party. So you don't get to fucking suddenly start picking and choosing where, you know, suddenly you, you don't start to start getting holier than now about it. You don't just get to virtue signal about the fact that, oh, they've got this anti Islamic agenda. Right, it's embracing what the fuck it is, right? And who knows whether, on, depending on how well Brexit goes, whether it goes ahead at all at this point which is not fucking which is now not a guarantee fucking tea you know maybe UKIP will have a resurgence which is going to piss off the people who've just joined it because they're going to have to do some fucking work now right but hey you've got a job haven't you right anyway so now this this may not have been a, 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 as good and this now this moves on to Sargon of a card now Sargon of a card um uh, he got into a little bit of, you know, he's he's been in the uh, he's been the talk of the town uh, last week uh, because his Patreon got uh, his Patreon account got fucking banned. Now his Patreon account getting banned, um, you know, um, what I thought what I find interesting is um, about this is a. Uh, 
the immediate, uh, the, the immediate fuck again, and I'm, I'm amazed I have to point this fucking shit out. Right, but this is this is the these are the people who bang on and on about the evils of socialism and governments, and they talk about regulation, and uh, and then all of a sudden, when the free free market capitalism let the private businesses decide and all that shit, and then suddenly, when the private businesses and the private companies start deciding they don't want people. Uh, to certain people, to which Patreon have the right to do. They have the right to say, uh, we don't want your custom. You know, we don't want you... And bearing in mind, Patreon lose fucking money. Right, and I'm not fucking... Uh, don't get me wrong, I've had issues with Patreon. Patreon, to be fair, one of the few fucking places that haven't fucking banned me unfairly, right? Now, I'm not saying... Now, I don't know, and uh, I don't... Now, maybe some of Sargon's associations outside of which, maybe, like, the fact that Nigel Farage is now fucking distancing himself from UKIP, it's very, probably very likely they associate UKIP. Uh, now it's associated with Tommy Robinson. They'll associate it with certain hate groups. So maybe UKIP... Maybe they felt pressure. Uh, the fact also the day before they banned Yiannopoulos. More on that in a minute. Right? But, uh, you know, but I can't do anything fucking about, th about this. But what cracks me up is the fuck is the arguments people make against this. It's, uh, I'm supposed to sit here, and I'm the, the one that I feel the most, and I've heard this so many times. I heard it when uh, Alex Jones uh, got fucking banned from YouTube and all these other places, and I heard it when Tommy, Rob when they, when Tommy Robinson looked like he was going to go to prison, and it's the one about, oh, what about his family? And this is his income, this is his job. It's like, I'm sorry to tell you this to you. Sargon of a card's family is Sargon of a card's responsibility. They're not Patreon's fucking responsibility. Lots of people all over the world every day lose their fucking jobs. Right? And he hasn't lost his job. He's lost one avenue of a source of income. He can't go through Patreon. Now, I don't know whether Sargon... Now, I'm sure Sargon can find another means, whether, whether there's other websites he can use, or whether he can just do go through the PayPal. But when I hear people banging... There were people literally the day he got banned. Within 20 minutes, going, going, what about his family? He's got a wife and kid to look after. First of all, he's got a wife and someone else's kid to look after. But we'll fucking move on from that. It's not my fault. I'm just pointing out facts, right? Okay, these are just facts. Don't fucking blame me. Okay? But maybe if Cargill didn't spend all his money on cocaine and fucking local massage parlours, maybe he'd have a bit of throw. But Sargon of a card's fucking uh, Patreon, right, was $12,500 a month he was earning. And this was just a couple, of, and this was quite a while ago I last checked it. I don't know whether it's gone up since then. Twelve and a half thousand dollars a month. Now when you take away all the bits and pieces, you've got to take away deductions. That works out a year, about over, about 110 to 115,000 pounds a year for several years, right? I'm sure his family, and they're talk, you're talking to me like, like his family's on Skid Row. Right, just to put it in perspective, what Sargon of a card earns on Patreon a, a month is what I earn on Patreon a year. Right, I've been do I've been like doing earning money on Patreon just over a year, and that's about how much I've had to live on. Now I don't have a wife and someone else's kid to look after, uh, but I'm pretty sure if you took away the money, let's take away the 10 grand, take, you know, Sargon of a card probably requires a bit more looking after than me, right, so let's take, let's take in biomass into account, so he probably needs about 25 grand himself, right, I'm sure his wife and kid, and people talk, like, naturally assume, like, his wife duck, can't have a fucking, can't get a job herself, right, Sargon of a card is the same age as me, Right, maybe about to say, um, he's 38, 39 years old. I'm 39 years old. He's 30. He might, he's 38, 39. And like he hasn't been. It's not like this is all he knows. It's not, if he hasn't got Patreon, he can't fucking earn a living, right? And it's, I'm sorry. This is not. And these are the facts over feels, people. These are the people who bang on about the facts over feels. Right. And then they'll fucking talk to me about like I'm supposed to give a shit about Sargon of a card's family, right? I'm sorry, but if that's the fucking argument you're trying to make, if you, I saw it with Tommy Robinson when he was likely going to be sent to jail. The argument was, oh, he's got a wife and kid that to look after. He, what about his wife and kid? I'm sorry, that doesn't come into an account. That's not an argument 
when you're talking about whether or not someone's broken the law or broken the rules of engagement or the terms of service on a website. I don't have a wife and child, but I like to think that if I broke the law, the punishment I receive is going to be the same as someone who's got a wife and child. They don't get a fucking reduced sentence just because they've got a wife and kid to look after. That's there. They should have taken that into account. Right? That's not a fucking argument against it. So I don't give a shit. And here's what I give a shit about. Right? When I fucking got suspended, I have been suspended and I've had more videos censored, channels terminated, ch accounts suspended in this this year alone than Milo and fucking Sargon of a Card and all of these cunts fucking put together. And when I went fucking down, who was there for me? Did they fucking speak out for me? Did they give a fucking shit about me? No, they said nothing. First they came for Dick Coughlin's channel, and I said nothing. Why? Because that skinny little junky faggot fucking pwned my ass so many times that I was embarrassed, and I decided didn't want to fucking give him a shout out or mention the fact that, oh, it's unfair, he's got fucking banned. So you expect me to give a shit? about you getting fucking banned, you can swivel on that one. And then we get on to Milo Yarnopoulos, who tried great, very great, who tried to come back by having a Patreon. He had a Patreon account for one day, right? A Patreon account for one day, he was trying to make a big fucking comeback because apparently he's fucking too, well, it was $2 million in debt, then he claimed it was $4 million. But you know what these people are like? They fucking have to over-exaggerate everything. He's probably count. I'm surprised he's not fucking counting his debt in Zimbabwe dollars just to make it. It's $10 trillion fucking dollars he's in debt now. But his fucking Patreon page was hilarious, right? It had different tiers of fucking membership, like a lot of Patreons do. do. The lowest was $2.50 a month. The highest one was $750 fucking dollars a month, right? And that got fucking banned, and now he can't fucking go through that all of a sudden, right? And again, I'm supposed to fucking give a shit. There's another geezer called James Allsup who I know fucking nothing about, so I'm not going to fucking comment on him, right? Right. But here's, here's where I think, you, you know, what, what, again, what I fucking love is the whole idea that these companies, are, you cannot, if you spend your time rallying and demonising ideas like socialism and government regulation and you bang on and on about the free market, right, and, and how letting privatisation and letting private business fucking make their decisions and decide for themselves, let, the, let them decide what they want, right? And when they do and it excludes you, you can't, oh, all of a sudden, oh, we were fucking well interested. We were okay with the idea of the free market and private businesses choosing, you know, discriminating as and when they fucking work. Because back then, it was just blacks and queers we were talking about. It wasn't fucking, it didn't include people like me, but now it does. Now all of a sudden, I want the government to step in and make laws to make it fucking wrong and um, when you get do these people when they get if they go to a bar and get barred from the and, and behave in a way and bother the other fucking guests in the bar and they get barred or banned by the fucking landlord do they scream freedom of speech like you're fucking owed a fucking drink from this guy right you guys have got to start making your fucking mind up right and here's why I think you should fucking, I, I, here's why I think it should fucking worry a lot of these people, is, you know, you lose a YouTube channel, you can start another one up, or you can go to another video website, that's one thing. You lose a Twitter account, same thing. Facebook page, same thing. There's other places you can go. You can start your own website, whatever. Right? Or you can start, whatever, you know, the, 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 but that's one thing. But these guys, you know, keep losing things like, they, they keep losing PayPal accounts, and they keep losing Patreon which are the main sort of sources for people to get uh, to get money in from these people and this is the pro this, this is the problem i think this is where you know this, this is where people on the right if you're this is where you should start worrying because i think a lot of you know the way i know and the way a lot of other people know you understand deep down whether you want to admit it or not that a lot of these cunts they're in it for the money they're in it because this is where the fucking money is. Because you guys have got the fucking... When it comes to rinsing gullible ring nuts, I'm afraid the far right has got the fucking... Nearly got the monopoly on that. Right? Right? 
I'm, I'm not saying it's, there's not people on all parts of the spectrum, but the far right is a lot easier to fucking swindle out of cash than fucking other, than any other fucking site. So if they want to, and if they're only in it for the money, eventually, if it, if they start losing all their avenues from which they can gain money, from which they can get revenue, their videos get demonetized, they lose their PayPal account, they lose their Patreon account. You know, there's only so many times you can ask people to sign up to a different website before they fucking they're just gonna not gonna fucking bother, right? Right? As soon as that fucking happens, there's gonna come a point when a lot of them are gonna realise, hey, but if the, everyone on the, if all these people, all these left wing YouTubers, all these people who are make, who are on the left, they're not getting banned. They're not getting their Patreons banned. They're gonna fucking switch. Their v words are gonna be just as empty and fucking. And I wouldn't personally put any trust in them, but that people will, unfortunately. You know, if you don't believe me, look at Cult of Dusty. He spent eight fucking years pandering to the alt right. And pandering to the right wing, right? And then he made what? And I spent fucking years, you know, as you know, I spent fucking years making videos telling people about this. And then he makes one video admitting to this. And since then, he's been. And as soon as he fucking had said that he's, he's now, you know, he's he's no longer pandering to the alt right. There were people jump into his defence, you know. So it's not impossible. So it's not impossible that it won't grab it. You're gonna have to work a little. You're gonna have to change your fucking tact a little bit more. But I wouldn't fucking. I would not fucking be shocked if this time next year a lot of the prominent. If this carries on, this trend of you know right wingers, people on the right getting banned from uh, Patreon or PayPal you know, continues, you're gonna start seeing them switch fucking sides. Just so they can make content that's going to generate income for them. If this is if they if they don't refuse to get a fucking job. So that's my take on all of that for you. Hope that's been entertaining for you. My name's Dick Coffin. Good night. May God be less.